And so to our match of the day, or at least the match that seemed at the start of the day to be the pick of the bunch. Though, as we'll see later, there were a couple of cracking matches in the women's singles. Evgeny Kapelnikov said it would take a miracle for him to defend his title. Well, that miracle has started to happen in the form of a comfortable draw to date. But today he faced Mark Filipousis, surely one of tomorrow's men, but still with question marks over his consistency. Javier Perez Moreno. The umpire, Kafelnikov broke in the sixth and eighth games to take the first set by six games to two. So a comfortable start for the defending champion. He held his serve at the start of the second set. Here's Filipus is serving. Love one. It's a great backhand from Kafalnikov. Very much hugging the baseline. Standing in very, very close. To take the ball very early. And that means the timing's got to be good. And for a man who hasn't played a lot this spring, it's a dodgy tactic, but it certainly worked for him. Forehand. A really wonderful shot. Look at the accuracy and look how he real realizes he's done it. He jumps up in the air. Felnikov very much neutralizing the big Australian serve. And no need for power there, using all of Filipousis' power on the volley to just tease that ball down the line. Kafelnikov missed three months of the circuit. He broke a bone in his hand while punching a punch bag in a bit of fun with Mark Rosse. That was the Friday before the Australian Open started, Friday the 10th of January. Didn't return until the 7th of April at Estoril. So an overhit forehand from Mark Filipousis, and Kafelnikov was leading to love in the second set. 3-1 to Kavalnikov now, and a point he has for 4-1. Filipus is still hanging on, trying not to let Kavalnikov get too far ahead. Difficult to see from the television, but you can probably get a rough idea of just how little sand there was on the court from our main camera. There's dark patches of the sand. The rest is pretty bare. It's advantage Kafelnikov again. Point for 4 1. No! Avantage Kafelnikov. Well, it's a break point for 4 1. Uh, game point for 4 1 now. This is coach Anatoly Lepeshin. And at 5-3, with the skies clouding over quite ominously, Kafelnikov had set point for a two sets to love lead. Very comfortable for the defending champion. Looks in good form. There was a slight threat of rain, but it never happened. The skies brightened up. And the third set developed into quite a tussle. At this stage, it's five games all. 15.30 on the Philippus' serve. <laughs> that is just a glorious forehand. Nothing wrong with the approach shot from Philippus's. Look at this. So deep. Just a flick of the wrist. That is a glorious stroke. So great points for a 6-5 lead. 
Well, the boost his first serve was 222 kilometers an hour. It didn't go in, neither did the second. So here is Evgeny Kafelnikov serving for the match. 6-5, it's 15 all. Even the miss hits are going in. Almost arrogant the way Kafelnikov's playing. Just stood back. His feet were automatically in position. And stroked the ball past the incoming Philippoussis. Volley from Philippoussis, but he really should have finished the point of stroke earlier. <laughs> Wonderful length on the Kafelnikov first serve. Pushing Philippoussis right back, no control on that backhand. And the defending champion with match points. S'il vous plaît. Merci. There's all this crying out as he's about to serve. It's not really fair. But fairness was not something he needed. A wonderful win. And after I asked him how his far from ideal preparation for this tournament made him feel differently on Everybody the Everybody expecting me to do something big again this year. That's, but I'm, I'm not ready. I feel that I'm not ready yet to, to defend it. If I would be ready, I would answer that question straight away. But you know, unfortunately, as you said, it was an ideal preparation for this tournament. But you know, things things coming so far good for me. You know, I'm already in the second week. So and then you know, it's simple things. There's three matches to go. But all I can tell you that uh, the next matches will be for me it will be the the championship matches. If I win my next round match, so I, I think I and then you know I can tell you that miracle might happen. <laughs> Draw really is opening up for Kafelnikov, and he knows it, regardless of what he may say there. The chances of defending his title are looking better and better.